So in previous tutorials, I uh, set up the AT&T IoT Starter Kit. It's a piece of hardware. It's actually pushing its data, streaming it into Flow, into M2X. You can see we've got some data here. And I also connected it to PubNub. So this data is being published into PubNub. And the cool thing about PubNub is it's available now. I can connect lots of different things to PubNub and consume this data. So you can see we've got humidity, heat index, and um, temp. So let's go ahead and try freeboards.io. So freeboard.io, I'm gonna go ahead and log in. You can see I've already got two projects here. Let's go ahead and do a new one. We'll call it um, All right, let's go ahead and add a pane. And I want this to be too wide, make it a little wider, and then we're gonna add something to it. Oh wait, I need some data. So I'm gonna add, I want PubNub here once again. I'm gonna call it PubNub. And I need a subscribe key and a ch channel. So once again, I go back into PubNub and I'm gonna get my subscribe key. Come on. Then the channel I'm publishing into is called ATT PubNub. We go back here, see in the debug console, that's what we're subscribing to, ATT PubNub. So save. Now we've already got data in there. We can go ahead and add some widgets and doodads here. So let's do um, Sparkline. Nope, nope, nope. I want I want text, and I'm going to call it temperature. Now this is cool. Data source. I can just say PubNub values and it's already figured out what what's coming in so I can actually just browse to it which is really sweet so I'm gonna get the temperature and I'm gonna exclude a spark line this is uh, sweet I'm gonna just go ahead and add a couple more here text Let's see Humidity, value, and then one more. Hang on. I'm going to do a gauge. There we go. So the state is actually streaming in from my microcontroller. I'm going to plug in this little fan here and it should cool it off real quick. You'll see these uh, values drop satisfyingly. And that's all there is to it to get streaming data from PubNub into Freeboards.